Many thanks, Gimba. Chelsea Football Club moved above Arsenal FC into fourth position in the English Premier League as they were held by Burnley 2 all in a thrilling game played at Stamford Bridge. With rivals Tottenham, Arsenal and Manchester United all losing over the weekend, Chelsea will be frustrated that they could not take full advantage of their game. The Tottenham Champions League hopes have been hit with a huge blow with the news that Musa Sissoko looks likely to miss the semi-final first leg against Ajax Amsterdam. And the midfielder suffered a groin injury in the quarter-final second leg match at Manchester City and has been ruled out by the boss Mauricio Pochettino for two weeks. FC Barcelona coach Ernesto Valverde says his players are not feeling the pressure as they close in on a fourth Liga title in five years. Barca will lift the trophy if they beat Alaves on Tuesday night and Levante on Saturday. Although they could wrap up the title on Wednesday, that's if Atletico de Madrid lose at home to Valencia. And that's wrap on Sports News. The News at 10 continues shortly. On entertainment news, Brazilian descendants in Lagos Island celebrate Easter in style. Mayo Ogundeli has details and more. Many thanks. Here are your training entertainment stories. 17-year-old Jonathan Flourish has emerged winner of the second season of the musical reality talent hunt show Tiki Stars. The undergraduate of biochemistry picked the coveted winning prize after being adjudged the winner from performing Tony Braxton's How Could an Angel Break My Heart and Ashad's Bimbanke. Easter season brought a new sense of vibrancy and merriment to the Brazilian quarters of Lagos Island, popularly called Fukuaguda, as descendants of Yorubas taken into slavery in South America celebrate their Brazilian roots with an Easter concert. Organized by the Brazilian Descendants Association, the Pukwa Guda Easter Concert seeks to use arts, culture, entertainment, amongst other means, to unite all members towards the common goal of preserving history for the benefit of the community and government. And finally tonight, Project Fame winner Kemote Goroje will headline the World Intellectual Property Day celebration in Nigeria. The Delta State Born will thrill audience at this year's installments tagged Reach for Gold IP in Sports. The schedule for the National Stadium in Lagos, Southwest Nigeria. And that's all for tonight. The News at 10 continues shortly. And the main news again, 11 people were today killed after an NSCDC official rammed his car into an Easter procession of the Boys Brigade in Gumbi State. And that's how it's been on the news at 10 tonight. I want to thank you so much indeed for being a part of it. On behalf of all of us here, have a splendid week ahead. I am Gimba Omar. Good night.